I've had an idea. It's a rainbow. It's going to be bright and really quite colourful. Um, I'm going to try a Dutch pour rainbow. So I'm going to lay the colours out like an actual rainbow. Um, and then instead of blowing the colours out with my hairdryer, I'm going to blow them out using my breath um, just to try and get a bit more control and detail in the pattern. So I'm hoping to get one, one sort of fluid, brightly coloured rainbow. We'll see. Um, let me show you the colours. So I've got all the colours laid out here. They're all in my bottles. Um, I won't go through every single colour. Um, there's quite a lot. You can pick any colours for this sort of pour. But you can see red, orange, yellow, greens, turquoises, blues, purples, pinks, and then silver. Um, this is my canvas. I think it's a 40 by 50 centimetre. I need to check. Um, so I've drawn a circle around, around a lid. Um, and then I've measured out, so I've now got seven bands here. Um, what I will do, though, is not give one for the red, one for the orange, and one for the yellow. I'm going to have those three colours, but probably over two of the bands, because I'd rather have an extra band with some turquoise or some other colours in the middle. Right, I have checked this so many times. Red goes on the outside. Um, so this is a carmine colour. I think it's by Amsterdam. So I'm going to put that just on the very outside i am making it slightly wiggly i don't want it to be totally exact straight lines and i can come back and add more color afterwards so this is the orange iridescent orange Um, Amsterdam Azo ye Lemon, Yellow Lemon. So they're my three colours. I'm just now wondering about mixing them, just blending them a little bit more. So adding just a bit more red, but also just bringing it over the orange a little bit like that. Right, and for the sake of using up colours, I've got a really, really dark turquoise here, Amsterdam greenish blue. So I was thinking about very unusually, I think, having that as my base. Um, I quite fancy black, but I don't have any black mixed up. So what would it look like on a really dark turquoise base? Right, there's also, there's lots of gaps, but I don't think that will matter because I think as I blow the colours out, that should actually just disappear. Okay, 
And then the last thing I just want to add before I start blowing this out is a little bit of silver because that should create just some really pretty cells. I'm just going to drizzle it on kind of everywhere. Lots of really thin lines so there's no big chunks of silver. Right, here goes. This is so much fun. Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but does it not look like the rainbow's on fire? Look at that effect. It's so cool. I love it. Um, so you've got the very clear red band, but the red, I deliberately have blown all the colours up as far as I can send, I can get them up to the edge there. Um, it just, it looks like it's on fire. And that's, I, I, it's, I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at all the cells, all the details. Um, the silver has worked perfectly because there's lots of tiny little silver cells dispersed throughout the whole painting. I love just how fluted it is and irregular and choppy and chaotic it is. Um, also really happy with this really choppy centre. I might change that when it's dry. I might paint it into a sharp, sharp edge, but I think that would look wrong because the whole painting is so choppy and fluid looking i think it works really well that that's that's quite irregular there um the turquoise this blue color here that will go very dark when it's dry um i quite like the color it is now but i think actually as that dries it will look better um happy with my edges the paint just drips down beautifully i had to dab it in a few places um to get the drips to come down um, but wow, I can't believe I've never done one of these before. Um, a rainbow quite like this. Really, really happy with this um, and excited to see how this will turn out, out when it's dry. So it's now dry. I'm absolutely in love with the colours, the brightness and the intensity. And you, you can see them all. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, pink. And look how dark the base has gone. I knew it would be really dark. Um, so now it just looks like a, like a navy colour. So really happy with that. Um, the fire is real. It really looks like it's on fire. Um, such, it's just so effective. It's just so pretty. Um, I wonder what it would look like on a different colour base, on a white base. Um, the details are beautiful. I just love how all the colours overlap. So you can see that green band, but you can see how the green goes into the yellow and the orange, and then the blue goes into the green. Um, and the cells, it's just so pretty, so bright, so vibrant. I left the centre exactly how it was. Um, to have embellished that or to have made it perfectly round would have been a total mistake. Um, everything about this is so choppy. 
Um, so just re really enjoyed making it and really enjoy looking at the result. Really pretty. Um, now, one question for you. This is obviously a rainbow, so the rainbow goes up this way. But if you've watched my channel before, you'll know, know that I also did a whole range of paintings based on the iris of an eye. And this is actually how my iris paintings looked. So this was the pupil of the eye. Um, this is the iris. So I think it also really reminds me of my iris paintings. So which way do I hang it? Do I hang it as a rainbow or as an eye? So landscape or portrait? I'm really not sure because I'm really drawn to having it this, hanging it this way. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Great, thanks so much for watching. Um, please leave me any thoughts, you have any comments. Um, hit the th do hit the thumbs up button if you like it, or if you enjoyed watching the video, um, do hit the thumbs up button. Um, that would be great. Great, take care everyone. Bye.